What's up? <sighs> okay, so I just wanted to hit a couple points, right? Um, to some people who are feeling blocked, right? And you don't understand why, okay? You feel like, you know, you faced everything, right? You've you've gone through major healing, which you have, right? Um, you've healed from, excuse me, things that were done to you, right? Um, things that happened in certain situations, right? You've forgiven, right? You've done... most of the groundwork, okay? It's 111 on the timer. But the thing that is blocking you, okay? The thing that is blocking you, right? And it can be different for everybody. One, two, three on a timer, it can be different for everybody. Uh, there's something that you are carrying. There's something you're still carrying, okay? Now, that may be some type of blame that was put on you, right, as a child. Some type of insecurity that you developed from People that were around you as a child that were supposed to love you, that didn't, okay? Um, I'm hearing mother, right? Maybe mother wounds, right? Maybe father wounds. Um, a mother or father who wasn't a mother or father to you, right? Um, someone who basically tolerated you because they were your parent, right? Um, who otherwise, if they weren't your parent, they would have nothing to do with you, right? And I should have said trigger warning before I said that, so forgive me for that, but trigger warning, okay? Um, and if you're experiencing a trigger from what I just said, then that's further confirmation to what I'm saying, right? There are some things that you have to go back, right? You literally have to go back in your mind. Go back in your childhood to where you first felt like whatever it was that you were feeling, right? Whether it be neglect, whether it be uh, blame shifting, right? Um, adults might have blamed you for things you had no control over, okay? And that ended up, three through three on a timer, that ended up being carried on your shoulders, right? Which later manifested into perfectionism, right? Um, some type of obsessive compulsive disorder, right? Um, some type of mental issue, okay? And there's nothing wrong with having, you know, um, specific certain mental issues, right? Um, because we all have them in a sense, right? Um, and I just came to this realization the other day, right? And these things that you would rather not look at, right? Rather not feel, these are the things you have to go back to when you first felt them, to when you first experienced them, right? And you have to iron things out, right? You have to look at things. You have to look at why you felt the way you felt, right? Who made you feel that way, right? And come to the conclusion that how they felt about you was not your fault, right? How, 
and this is just an example, right? How they made you feel about yourself was not your fault, right? That you are perfect in the way that God made you, right? And to accept yourself in that way. You get what I'm saying? Right, so go back to your childhood and to the place where you first felt those, whatever those feelings were, right? Go back to the place where you first felt whatever it was that was put upon you that was not yours to bear, okay? And look at that and feel that five, five, five at a time or feel it, right? Acknowledge it, feel it, right? And let it go, right? And let it go. This is the reason you feel some type of blockage, right? Some type of uh, stagnancy, if you will, right? Go back to these places in your childhood, sift them out, okay, and face them, look at them, right, acknowledge them, okay, feel that, and then let it go, all right? It sounds much easier, right, than it actually is, but you can do it, is the thing. You can, right? So I just wanted to come and drop that um, in your lap. <laughs> I wanted to come and plop that in your lap, right? Um, it, it, it'll be uncomfortable, of course, right? But you can do it. Right, you've 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 done so much healing up until this point. You've done so much facing things and forgiving people and situations, and you can do this as well. You can you can do this as well, right? And once you do, okay, then you'll be free and clear to experience what God has for you, right? It'll come in. It'll come through, right? Because the Holy Spirit doesn't want you to carry that into the life that God is about to present you with, right? Because God wants you to be able to fully enjoy what he is about to bring to you, what he's about to bless you with. He wants you to fully enjoy it. He wants you to fully bask in it, fully have that childlike wonderment, right? As you did as a child before these things occurred. Okay, so love you guys, love it, all right? Um, and hope you have a good day, right? I feel like some of you guys woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, right? Um, I can concur with that, but this is just another reminder of there being something that needs to be ironed out, okay? So I love you guys, love it, all right? Even more importantly, God loves you, and I'll holler at y'all later.